It's really important, uh, you know, there's a promise that, that we make as a nation to our service members and that they make to one another, that no one will be left behind, no one will be forgotten. And this is how the nation executes that promise. This is how we, we go about fulfilling that. Right. Uh, one of the main differences of uh, what people expect when they, they to, to happen when they see it on TV or in the movies versus the reality of working in a human identification lab or a crime lab is that DNA results don't come back within that 30 minute uh, episode. It takes uh, oftentimes very uh, much longer for any of the analytical tests that we do to yield a result that we can use in the laboratory. The USS Oklahoma project was one of the main, the main first projects that we've had to, to do like um, as a concerted effort uh, for a project. And we just recently hit the 200 ID milestone this, this, past, uh, this past week or a couple weeks ago. The whole reason that we were able to, to do these disinterment projects is that now with the, the science and the technology that we have, we can make the, the argument that these remains that have been unidentified and unidentifiable for over 70 years, now we have the capability to identify them. So uh, the Oklahoma, you know, was sort of the, the pathfinder, the, the, the way forward that showed we can be successful doing this. And so uh, based on their success, we, we made the argument to disinter the, the West Virginia and the California. And so, yeah, the expectations are identical that we will be able to identify all or nearly all of the individuals from, from those two ships that are still, still unidentified. The amount of effort that goes into recovering these remains and to making identifications, it's often timed a lot of hard research and analysis prior to even getting to go on an investigation or a recovery uh, or an exhumation if it was a disinterment. And then once the remains are accessioned into the laboratory, be it from field work or from uh, exhumations from cemeteries, there's just a, a large amount of information that we have to take in and analytical tests to perform that all kind of coalesce to become uh, a picture of an individual identification. I'm always surprised to hear that folks aren't aware that we're doing this, and so it's really important to me to, to be able to spread that word so that the people do know this is something that's ongoing, and even if it takes 75 years or longer, we're not gonna give up, we're gonna keep trying.